jalapenos, bird's eye and standard green. How many chillies do two girls need? Me and Tracy were trying out toppings for tomorrow. We've got our booze licence, you know. And we've decided to do pizza roulette. One slice, blow your head off. <laughs> Gonna put that on a pizza. That's for the bases, David. How unwoke are you? Mm, sounds horrible. I know, that's what me and Tracy thought, but went down like hot pizzas last time. And what is the point? A in your bases and you can make your own. Oh, I'll put you to one for tomorrow night. You up for it, Jack? Yeah, maybe. I've got hockey practice. Nope, that's tonight. <laughs> I'm your new coach. I'm winning it to win it, mate. Well, you can't lose with him. Old Gordon Sticks, that's what his friends called him. Yeah, I've heard good things about you. Star player. Mm. Desperate for him on county. Dad. Can you play hockey we phone in around the knoll? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you tonight, mate. Hey, good day. Ah, always the same. Last day of term, been worse than the kids. Count you down the minutes till the bell rings. <laughs> if it were the last pizza on earth, what would you go for? Turbo chili or like classic margarita? Neither. Seafood's my pizza of choice. Seafood? Hmm. Be able to put the kettle on. I'm not good. I don't want to move. All my friends are here. School. Well. I'm sorry, you haven't got a choice, pet. Anyway, your whole estate's not that bad. No, I hated it there. Listen, why don't I just call the agent? If these want three months' rent as a deposit. No chance, I'm not stretching to that. We'll find somewhere Hello? soon. No, we won't. Yeah. Well, we can't afford Speaking. anywhere we want to live. We're going to be on the streets after Christmas. I wish I'd never got in that car. Yeah, yeah, we'll be in this afternoon. Um, whenever. Yeah. Uh, it was swirling, he's coming around later. To arrest me? No, love. No. Not got any proof, have they? And there's no new evidence, so. Yeah, but they haven't charged it yet for the joyriding. Uh, I need some surgical gloves. You know the kind murderers wear. Uh, like. These ones? Oh, David, stop it. My eyes are streaming. I forgot that I chopped raw chilies with my bare hands. Do you know, I thought this pizza business would be easy. You know, you just chop a load of veg and then you stick it on top of a veg base and... Yeah, it's not that simple. I'm gonna mess this up, aren't I? Mm. I'm skin. Can't afford Christmas. I... Oh, I just really need this to work. Then make proper pizzas with proper bread bases. Mm. Try it with tuna, anchovies, capers, onions. Mm. All right, fine. Have you got them ingredients, David? Of course I have. I'll get them for you. Give it a whirl, not holding out much hope. No matter what topping we put on these bases, just come out like soggy cauliflower mess. I used to work in a takeaway. Pizza got me through college. Yeah, it was not the same though, was it? We're making healthy veg-based pizzas. Yeah, Liam was into clean eating. Really? Whatever base you want, I can make a pizza al tonno with my eyes closed, and I am free right now. <gasps> what? Well. Well, she lives with Tracy, and I'm technically still married to Tracy, and then me and Lily, we... David, your secret's safe with me. What secret? She, she's having you on. <laughs> I know. So, my new nighty. It did it for you. I have thought of nothing else since we were so rudely interrupted. Could you not model it again for me tonight? Oh, I bought it for your eyes only, Eric. Not for those of our lodger as he barges in with fish and chips. I know it's not ideal. Kills the passion stone dead. I can't do it, Eric. Not with him there, lurking. Oh, come on, Dad. There's going to be mince pies and everything. Isn't there, Harriet? Of course, yeah. Uh, pies, mulled wine. Great. But I'm not sure the church should be offering an inducement. We just need a few extra voices to swell the ranks of the choir at the carol concert. Oh, well, if you can't have a good old-fashioned sing-song at Christmas, when can you? <laughs> <laughs> Who else can I tempt? Eric. Ah, I would, would, we, have, uh, we have plans for tonight. Oh. That sounds great. <laughs> what is it? Dinner? Pub? Uh, but Rodney, uh, he's free. And I have to say, an amazing set of pipes. Ah. Seeing as it is almost the most wonderful time of the year yeah, that, for family a time to spend with your loved ones i'm sure you miss your daughters your grandchildren so close and yet so far thanks to you too i have found my new family and i couldn't be happier make that the three of us 
Uh, Faith and I can enjoy each other's company whenever. It's time to give back, isn't it, darling? Absolutely. Mm. 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 This is piece of perfection. I'll tell you what, that is going on tomorrow night's menu. Yeah, these are way better than the bases Rodney ordered last time. They're amazing. And it costs about 20p to make. We use these tomorrow night. I'm going to clean up. You're brilliant. I do my best. <laughs> so, you're going to make us a load more then for tomorrow? No need. It's dead easy, I'll show you how. You know, if you ever fancy inviting us round for dinner. Um, yeah. Girls only, though. No <sighs> men. I used to love having friends over. You know how lunch turns into dinner, next thing you know it's gone midnight. <laughs> Yeah, I used to do that when I had a fella and a life and a real job. <laughs> the flat I'm staying in at the moment is so grim. I'm sleeping on the sofa. My friend binge watches TV box sets till silly o'clock. David not asked you to move back yet? No, not yet. But even if he did, I wouldn't. We're taking it slow this time. It's not a great look, though, is it? Sofa surfing at my age. I am looking for somewhere else. We've got a spare room. Are you serious? Yeah, Frank might be moving out soon. We can't afford the rent between the two of us. As if she wants to live with a boyfriend's two exes across the road from me. <laughs> Sounds like something from Jodie Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> what are they persecuting her for? She's already told him everything she knows. You never know. Maybe he's coming to say that she's off the hook. I wonder off the phone to whoever it was that ran Graham over. Could have turned themselves in. Look, I'm sorry I got you all into this. Dad, I want a proper solicitor if I get arrested. I Googled it the free. Mr. Spencer, can I uh, have a word, please? Amelia, if uh, you can give us a minute. Go on, love. Right, I'll, uh, I'll be in the car. Uh, you can stay. Right, what's this all about? There's been uh, developments in Amelia's case. Hey. Hi. Got pizza. Homemade, so definitely healthier than last night. David said he'd be back. I am now. So uh, grab a couple of glasses. You can tell me everything Lola and Tracy said about me. Topless again, JK. Put it away, will you? See my muscle on a piece of fried chicken. <laughs> Dad. I'm late. He talks on back to front. <laughs> what have I said now? So we now have a new witness who saw the car on the road. But our problem is, we've got the four sets of prints from the car, the three kids and yours. Right, and? If someone else had driven the car, there'd be another set of prints in the vehicle. The thing is, Amelia's had dealings with us before if she's being intimidated. She's not. I think she knows more than she's letting on. If she's scared to speak out... <sighs> she's not stupid. She knows she's in trouble, she's told you everything. Well, if you could have a word with her. Let it slip that she's covering for someone who doesn't deserve it. She'll only hurt herself in the end. We already have. We've sat down and talked to her about it. She's promised she's telling me the truth. She's lied before. Yeah, but we know her. Whoever put Graham in hospital, it wasn't Amelia. You don't know that. You don't know her anymore. Well, none of her do. She's changed since her mom died. She's a different little girl. She's nicking from where. Running away, joy riding. So what are you saying? What do you think? <sighs> hey, that was good today, boys. That was good. Remember, focus, focus, focus. Even if we're winning, yeah. <laughs> Star player, hey? Huh? Screwed up. It happens. If we're gonna win, I need commitment and enthusiasm. Sorry. She's got stuff on my mind. What, that's putting you off your game, or...? It's this girl. Your girl? I thought she liked me, but... today she won't even text me back. 
Then call her. I can't even talk to her. Not when I want to. I can't even see her. It's complicated. Hey, well, you've got the rest of your life for complicated. You should be having a laugh, hanging out. You can't even do that. She's older than me. And if anyone was to find out, then we'd be in big trouble. I mean, that sounds difficult. Look, if you want to talk, I'm good at keeping secrets. So the first time I kissed her, she kind of backed off. I thought I'd gone too far. But you saw her again? Then the next time she kissed me back, she started getting weird. I guess I just scared her. Either that or I was a rubbish kisser. So you've kissed her twice. You think she's interested, but it's so complicated you can't actually see her. She's kind of seeing someone else. Seriously? Well, she's not just older than you, she's got a boyfriend. Yeah, but if she really liked him, then she wouldn't have kissed me. Mate, she's with someone else. If she'll do that to him, she'll do it to you. She's better than that. If she was, then she wouldn't put you in this position. I'd walk away, Jacob, with your self-respect. Find a girl your own age, someone who's uncomplicated. I can't! I love her! I knew you wouldn't get it. Just forget I said anything, all right? Oh, no, wait, mate, I did... J all we have to do is let Rodney go to choir practice and then we could make our own excuses and then spend a bit of private time at home together. Oh, we promised the vicar. No, no, I'm not lying to a woman of the cloth. If <laughs> she's a woman of the world, she'll understand. And I'm a woman of my word. No, I'm not letting her down, all the rest of them. I don't suppose you brought that um, wonderful nighty with you. It's at home with the stockings and suspenders and the very high heels. Mm. If we are going to choir practice... No if about it. We could have a window. I believe room four is for you. Harry Pollard, I don't do hotel rooms by the hour. In fact, you've even suggested it. <laughs> you can't dangle a, a lovely nightie like that in front of a fella and then expect him to forget all about it. There's nothing I want more than to wear that nightie, especially for you. Such a shame there's nowhere for us to go. See you in church, Eric. So, what is it that scares you most, David? Me? I'm scared? <laughs> yeah. You know, the thought of us all together laughing about you, or uh, the thought of us all together laughing about oh, you. Oh, Lila, please. I really like her. I don't want to move in with you. You tell her stuff I don't want her to know. Yeah, she's already shared a bathroom with you. No wonder she's so keen to move in with girls. Uh, I'm immaculate, you know I am. Mm. That's half the problem, innit? You, your toilet paper folded into a little triangle. Not seriously, you're, uh, you're the least interesting thing we've got in common. Yeah, we've all moved on now, so you should. Hey. Hey! Lila's just leaving, aren't you, so... <laughs> Tracy says she's sorry, you know, for sounding so negative, but room's yours if you want it. No, 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 she's fine. She's just moved in with a mate, aren't you, so... Well, I can't stay where I am. I've already overstayed my welcome. Oh, why would you want to move in with them two? If you're that desperate, move back in with me. Oh, thanks, David, but I think I've got a better offer. You'll have more of a laugh with us than either of us ever had with him. Thank you, I'll take it. Hey, uh, how did Jakey get on? Have you not caught up with him yet? No, I. Uh, maybe you and him should have a chat. R really? Why? Why? What's happened? Oh, I thought you talked to me in confidence. It, it, it's fine. We're all family here, so... Yeah, but you made me promise. I said I won't tell anyone, so... <laughs> I'm not just anyone. I'm his dad. Please, if there's anything wrong, you need to tell me. 
Tommy's been seeing some older girl. And she's been giving him the runaround. I don't think it's good for him. No, he's not got a girlfriend at the moment. Look, I wouldn't have said anything, but he was in a right state. Look, I just thought you should know. Right, thanks. What is Jakey doing with some older woman? What's some older woman doing with Jacob? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming. Nice to see you. Sorry, I'm a bit late. We've got mulled wine, mince pies, help yourself. Don? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Thanks for coming. So you two did make it, after all. We said we'd be here, and here we are. Ah, chomping at the bit. Yeah, I know I interrupted you last night, but uh, I thought your sudden passion for carol singing might have been a ploy, uh, you know, to uh, get me out of the house. <laughs> As if we'd resort to subterfuge. Mmm, <laughs> old wine. Mm. We want you out full stop. We can't throw him out at this time of the year. Eric, it's our first Christmas together. I want it to be special, just the two of us. You know, long lions, snuggling by the fire. What did we say we were going to begin with again? Ding dong, merrily on high. Right, thank you. Right. One, two. Ding dong. Oh, we're going to be throwing him out on the street. Oh. Just back into the bosom of his family that makes him so very much. I want to be basting that turkey wearing nothing but a basque and suspenders and only you raising an eyebrow. Leave it with me. He's been acting up for weeks. I thought he was worried about me and you, but if it's been this older girl all along... She might not even exist. He's probably got carried away trying to impress this new coach. Talked up all that stuff we live and now happened. Not with her. But if there was this other girl, whoever she is, that's why he's been behaving like he has. If he is seeing someone, it'd be something and nothing. Boys his age are always falling in love with older girls. Yeah, and it'll be like a couple of years, won't it? Not like 30. Yeah, I see it all the time. They get moody, distracted in class, listen to terrible music. <laughs> he was his age once, you know what it's like. Mm. Ellis heard enough to be worried about him. Ellis doesn't know Jacob the way we do. Trust me. He doesn't know lads Jacob's age like me. They can't pin this on Amelia, no matter how hard they try. Is that what the police came here to say? Not quite. They just want to make sure that you've told them everything. I heard what you said. But what do you mean I'm a different person? Not like you usually are. What? So that means that I knock someone down and then lie about it. No, what Kerry's trying to say is, and even you can't deny it, you've changed, Amelia. I don't believe this. Look, I'm not lying to anybody. Yeah, we know, we yeah. know. But if there's something you've forgotten to tell them... Oh, there's nothing. Look, why, why won't you believe me? Hey, hey, we do, right? It's too much of a coincidence, Pet. If you're covering for that, Liana. I'm not. Look, I can't stand her. Look, why, why would I lie for her? Because if that is what you're doing and the police find out, you're going to be in even more trouble. I don't you think I know that? Look, if you've got anything else to say to get off your chest, do it now before this gets any worse. Are you supposed to be on my side? All you do is talk about me and then say that I'm lying. Look, it should be you two that believes me, not just Daz. I hate you. I knew you'd text me, in the end. Seeing an older woman. Good of you to share that with your little friend. Alice told you. Not just me. He thinks you're having a breakdown. Apparently some older girl is messing with your head. He promised not to say anything. Well, he did. And I had to sit there and listen to your dad worry about you having a crush on some fictional sick former. Well, they don't know it's you. Oh, thank God you kept that one to yourself. What possessed you, Jacob? I haven't heard from you all day. I'm a busy woman. I work for a living. Unlike you and your friends, I'm not glued to my phone 24 hours a day. You saw me without my top. And you laughed like my dad. I thought you didn't like it. I didn't know what to think. So, 
What, you go and tell your hockey coach everything? Yeah, it wasn't like that. I'd never say anything about us. There is no us, Jacob. There never was. He wanted to talk. This is the last time that I see you on your own. You understand me? I really liked you. I thought you were special, mature. But I was wrong. You are just like every other stupid, needy little boy. I promise I never told Alice who you were. Please don't be mad at me. I'd do anything for you. Then leave me alone. And keep your mouth shut. From now on, I'm your teacher. Nothing more. And if you have been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can visit itv.com forward slash advice for support information. We're heading to the Cobbles next on ITV for our first visit this Wednesday to Coronation Street. <laughs>